family welcome back to my channel this is your girl Tierra at Hershey Eats Good how you guys doing today I really hope that all is well y'all today I have a D-shell seafood boil um I only have corn I have two corn and you guys are doing something a little different today so I took the um the king crab out of the shell and I kind of like uh pan seared it that and the shrimp to kind of give it like a grilled um flavor so I did that. I just got king crab. I got shrimp. I have my lemon and I have cucumbers and corn. I said corn. Yeah, no eggs today, y'all. But I do got my cucumbers. So before I get into this video, first things first, I would like for you guys to make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're sharing this video with everyone. Make sure you're commenting down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also make sure the bell is turned on so whenever I drop a new video, you will be notified. And the next thing I want to say, as I always say whenever I get on this camera, you already know. That's right. How is your mind? How is your heart? How is your soul? How are you guys? How are you feeling? You know, how, how, how just how are you feeling? I really do hope that all is well. All is well with me, y'all. I'm, I'm feeling okay. I got a little bit of a headache, but other than that, I'm good. So, yes, I'm really hungry and I'm ready to dive in. Y'all, I just took this out the oven. So, I know it's like really hot. But I'm like, I'm just like, I'm like drooling over it because I'm so hungry. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some lemon juice on everything first. Give it a little bit more time to try to cool off, y'all. But, yes, y'all, I, oh, I don't want the, the seeds. But yeah, y'all. I um yeah, so let me try to do something a little different today. You know, I ain't wanna really steam it or boil it or what ooh. Mm. Y'all, and I cut up some more onions. Whew. And this is like a mix of sauces, some beloved sauce, some some sauce that I made. I don't know if y'all can see that steam, but it is hot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all want the first bite? Before I even put my mouth on it, let me just go ahead and let y'all get y'all bite first. Here you go. Go and get it. Yes. Get that bite. Mmm. 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 Y'all, that is so good. It's hot. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I think I like putting it in the oven like that where the top of it kind of just like I put it on broil for just like a few minutes I watched it because you know broil will burn something quick but I didn't put the the pan in the bottom I put it in the actual oven part on broil mm. Mm. That's really good. I got a spoon, y'all, because I'm like, I'm scared to like, it's hot. Y'all see that? That steam. Can y'all see it? I don't know if y'all can. But it's a piece of king crab. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. That makes a total difference in the flavor. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, I want this corn. I want the corn with everything up on it. But look how hot. Let me just get that a second, y'all, because that thing is piping. I can just give you guys, just tell me how y'all doing. You know, how's everything going? How was your weekend? Did you do anything fun? Did you get some rest? Did you get that work that you was trying to finish up done? Okay. Yeah. My weekend was pretty good. Happy Mother's Day for those who um, I wasn't able to tell Happy Mother's Day to. That was on yesterday. I'm recording today is Monday, but you, probably, you guys will probably see this on Tuesday. But Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mommies out there. 
I really hope that you had a wonderful Mother's Day. I hope you had a great weekend all together. I definitely did. Uh, my husband treated me like a queen, y'all. All weekend and then Sunday, my husband and, and I and the kids went to his uncle's house with his mom and his grandmother and his sister and like all family, just, just family, family, family. And we had a nice cookout. So yeah, my weekend was very relaxing, very good, very, um, just really wonderful. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to get a little, just a little bit of time. Just a little bit, because this thing, huh? Yeah. Excuse me, I'm going to try it. I'm going to just, I'm going to just try and see what I can do. <sighs> oh, it's hot. Yeah, that's hot. That's really, really hot. I gotta get that a second. Jeez, man. That's the only thing. I guess we're putting it in the oven. Is the uh the heat. It's holding all the heat. Mm. But I got some cucumbers here. I can just go in with you now. Mm. These onions, boy. It be the onions for me. Mm -mm. And y'all, look, <clears throat> do not judge me because, like I said, I'm definitely about to get a couple of shirts just for mukbang because I'm not going to be messing up all my shirts. So if y'all see me keep wearing the same shirt over and over, y'all already know why. And don't judge me, okay? Because I told y'all before this butter sub, it don't be coming out of everything. Mm. Mm. Let me see if I can find a, pick, a big piece of... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. It is hot. Ooh, let me get this little that little cartilage piece. Mm -mm. At this point, y'all, I gotta go ahead and just try because it's hot. But I'll be sitting here all day waiting for this stuff to cool off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. It is piping though. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Woo! Hot. But y'all, it has like a like a real grilled flavor. I just used a little bit of olive oil. I ain't even seasoned the meat or nothing. Just a little bit of olive oil. Because I'm like, I know, you know, with the sauce, I would have to season it. But it's flavorful. Mm. That's good. I feel like Anytime I do this show, I want to do it like that, where I just take the um the meat out and grill it. I really like that. Mm. Y'all don't mind that corn. That stuff getting your teeth. It really does. Let me try one of these shrimp now. I like it with everything. The onions and all that. Mm, excuse me. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. I like that. That grill flavor. That's a good. But yeah, I really hope all the mommies enjoy their Mother's Day. Even if that meant you just got that break you needed. Or if you got gifts or if you got, you know, a spa day, whatever your heart desire. I hope it was granted. I really do. Mm. Mm. I don't think I did. Did I have cucumbers last time? I don't think I did. Missed my cucumbers, y'all. It'd be so good. It'd be crunchy. Mmm. This um sauce is spicy. I'm like, why is it so spicy? But I remember it's one of the sauces I said I added extra spice to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. That's good y'all. I feel like the longer it sit, the better it tastes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I want to get into this corn, but y'all, that corn is still very hot. I'm about to try it, though, at this point. I'm about to just go ahead and try it at this point. Corn look good now. Mm. I think hot. It's like so hot. I want to uh, send a special prayer or a special just, you know, my thought is with those of who do not have their mothers. I can imagine that a holiday celebrating mothers can be hard if you don't have yours anymore. So just sending a special um, prayer of love to anyone who you know, has lost their mom, a parent, um, but especially around like Mother's Day and Father's Day, if you don't have that particular parent, you know, <clears throat> that can probably be a hard time for some people. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, you know, I just want y'all to know that, you know, there's someone that's thinking of you guys. Because I know when holidays like that come around, we just automatically, oh, happy Mother's Day. We, you know, we want to give the mothers their flowers and you definitely want to do that. But we also have to remember those who might have lost a mom.
But I've been feeling the corn though here lately. We usually you know, I don't even do the corn like that, but I've been feeling the corn. I think it'd be the little, that subtle sweetness that it gives off with the um, savoriness of the, the sauce. It'd be so good. Y'all, this stuff is really spicy. My lips are tingling. Like, what? I probably done added something. I wonder, did this, is this the one with the jalapenos? It might be. Y'all be having sauces in freezers and refrigerators every which way. It might be. It's spicy. It's good, but it's spicy. Mm. One of the flowers my husband did get me, y'all, for Mother's Day was an orchid. It's so pretty. And the instructions be like, well, it was like, what, just to put three ice cubes in the, like, in the pot once a week. I literally, because I think they say it equates to like a fourth of a cup of water or something like that. Mm. Oh, my, okay. It's so pretty, though. I have it sitting on my dining room table because it said it has to be it should it should be in like a lit a well lit area but not direct sunlight. Y'all listen, I be struggling with the whole um, green thumb thing. I do not have it. Like I don't know why. My mom has it. My son definitely has it. Which I'm glad at least he got it. But y'all. Don't leave me in charge of no plant. <sighs> and I'm, I wish it was not like that because I really want to know how to grow stuff and make stuff like survive. Like, I really do. But like I keep telling my son, like, when we get in this house, I'm going to have an area just for the garden for food. <laughs> but I'm going to need him to tend it because, like, y'all, he be taking little seeds apple seed right now he got apple seeds growing he got a mango seed in this big pot that we have on our balcony growing like y'all he can he be making wheatgrass like he can make stuff grow it's so amazing i think i made something grow one time but then it died because it's just like and i was just like i don't know if it's because the temperature outside like i did i don't know then I'm like, you can't overwater a plant because you can kill it like that. Because in my mind, you know, the plant should get water every day. But then I'm just like, well, if it was outside, it wouldn't get water every day like if it was growing outside regularly. I'm trying to figure out the whole science behind that, y'all. I really is. I really is. Y'all want some of this king crab? Wait a minute. All right, let me squeeze a little bit of lemon on it. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. Alright. Alright. Y'all want some? Open it up. Open up. Ooh, get that. <laughs> mm. Mm-mm. 
Y'all gotta try grilling it. Or like lightly um like pan searing it. Mm. Like you don't even gotta season it. I think the natural sweetness and the flavors of the the crab and shrimp itself just I don't know. When you pan it, it's just it making it taste a total different type of flavorful. It's really, really good. Y'all ain't gonna believe this, but I'm getting full. As hungry as I was. See, I even got some knuckles in here, y'all. Yep, I seared those too. I got some knuckles up in there. So got some shrimp. Whew. Y'all, that was good, but... I'm getting full. I might finish this corn though. Yeah. <sighs> Cause see, this ain't gonna really be able to be split up by the kids. Cause y'all already know I'm gonna get these leftovers to the children. Y'all already know how that go. But they ain't gonna be able to split this corn and I don't have time for nobody arguing over no corn. So I will eat the corn. This thing is hot. Mm. <laughs> I kept looking over this bit to see where he was gonna come in. Oh, you good? Woo! I'm getting full. Finish this corn though. That's just my husband, y'all. He just came in. That's why I kept looking over. So I'm like, I know he's gonna come in soon. <clears throat> Study driving stuff, y'all. Mm -mm. <clears throat> mm. Oh, that's good. I was throwing it in my trash can, y'all. <laughs> Just in case somebody was like, what about you throwing that to? My trash can like right there. So. Mm. I got a floss. Right after this. I hate that feeling of something in between my teeth. 
I don't like that. Don't like that at all. But if you made it to the end of this video with me, you the real MVP. That's all I'm saying. Um, I appreciate you spending your time with me because I do realize that time is a new currency. And the fact that you're spending it with me says so, so much. Um, thank you so, so much, um, you guys. So um, until the next time I see you guys, make sure that you are taking care of your mind, your heart, and your soul. Take care of you. And take care of those around you that you love. So, until next time I see you guys. Bye!